Hello guys, today we're going to do a video about uh, color contrast in buildings itself. Uh, I've seen a lot of people use uh, materials the wrong way, color-wise and uh, depth-wise, because, you know, like, colors can create depth in your, um, in your builds. Uh, so yeah, this is just a small, uh, short tip video about that, and uh, the boat tutorial is being worked on. Uh, but just for now, I wanted you guys to, you know, have this information for your own. So, uh, let's move on. Hello, guys. Uh, we're back. So, um, let me first of all say that this is very hard to, you know, explain. Since, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that come into play with this. I mean, it's not only colors, but I'll, I'll do the... For example, depth is very important also. So, let's just say somebody has already mastered the depth, kind of, and made this already. Uh, I'll try to explain what I mean. Uh, some people have mastered their depth, but don't really use the right materials. See, this? these are the same materials, but they're not the right color. See, because this doesn't really look good, since it's like the same material. And when you want detailed bits, uh, what I recommend is having the inside bit a different color or a different material from the outside framing. So as you can see here, we got an example of the same material but a different color. And as you can see, that already looks better. Why? Since the frame itself is a brighter color and the back bit is a darker color. Um, what you create here is that people will, their attention will focus on the frame and not on this. So let's say you have this color at the back. I'll just do that real quick. Uh, no, a better example would be with these. So let me just build this real quick. There we go. And then use this one behind it. There we go. So let's just say you have this one. With this one, your the attention of the people will be focused on the outer frame. Because as you can see, they will be focused on the brighter thing. And as you, probably when you look at this video, you will notice the frame first. That is because, um, you know, your attention looks, it just notices the brighter things before the darker things. So let's just say you have this big build, then, and you don't want to detail this wall too much with all these fancy little add-ons. You might as well want to make it darker from the frame. That's what I want to say. So let's say you have this. Your attention will be focused on the brighter color, which is behind it. So you will see the frame, obviously, but your attention will be focused at first on this, on the brighter stuff. So that will make you be in a need of detailing this bit better than the outside bit. See, and you know, th this is maybe a weird story, and I try to make it make sense. But this is true. So, you know, it's not only the details in a bit that make sense. It's also the colors because they create attention. It's just like, where do you want the attention to go in a build? If you want your tower to stand out, make it brighter. If you want a tower to not stand out, make it darker. See, and you don't really want to overdo this because if you have like a bright white tower and a bright black tower, that obviously would not match. But it's just where you want to lay your focus on. Uh, for example, here, the focus will be laid on the frame. Uh, so now I will, uh, you know, also, <laughs> just forgot, is that just, you kind of have to create that feeling of which colors match, because I can't really expa explain to you guys which colors wouldn't match. Because, for example, this doesn't match. It just doesn't in a medieval building, okay? Because obviously it's green and yellow, which would match if you do it like this, kind of. It could be able. But you know, it's just like the the, 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 the feeling that you have to have, because you can't make a building out of purple and then have a blue thing behind it. Uh, so about the attention stuff, I will try to find a building where I can explain that to you guys for the which materials you have to use you kind of have to get that feeling and you create that feeling of looking at other people's buildings and building yourself so i can't really help you guys with that i'll try to make a video about that maybe later in the future i don't know 
But firstly, let's try to find that building where I can show you guys the attention stuff. Okay guys, so I couldn't really find a proper building. <laughs> so uh, I got this shot. Uh, at your left, you'll see this big mansion. And at your right, you will see all these houses. Probably the thing you will notice at first when you fly through this area will be that mansion. Not only because it's up high, but also because it's the brighter color. Maybe you guys are like, this is, you know, bullshit. But really, in your head, it makes sense. It's just like you don't you, you don't really think about it. It's just it happens. See, I, I kind of got to that understanding. And obviously, a lot of you guys are going to ask, you know, what materials should I use? Well, you know, it's it's you have lit some kind of categories of, of you know, materials because if you place wool, you have to get some kind of wood on the outside. It's just like you have to get some kind of steady material. So you could use either stone or logs. And if you want to go for a wood build, use a lot of wood and not a lot of freaking dirt. See, you know, that's. You, it's kind of a feeling, as I already said, that you have to build up. And, uh, you know, if you go for a section with stone, go with stone. And not like a semi-stone. Go with, you know, stone. And then build your way up for it to make, lo you know, logical sense. Because if you make wool, 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 and then stone, it doesn't really make sense because the building would collapse at the bottom. And, you see, maybe it looks to you weird sometimes. But really, it looks better since it makes sense. Because, you know, a building could look way better if you have wool on the bottom and stone at the top. But in the end, it's, like, not realistic. It's like placing a unicorn on top of a pig. So, try to, you know, get that. And uh, the only tip that I can give you guys for uh, getting that feeling up for, you know, like the blocks is you know just build just just build yourself try it looks good and uh the main thing that i would recommend is just hop on our server hop on everybody else server and just see how they use the materials and just try that yourself uh so yeah those were the tips that i can kind of give you uh it's a hard topic that you kind of have to figure out yourself but i hope i gave you some some things you can hold on to uh so yeah uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. And for a lot of you guys, you probably already have vacation. If you don't, then look forward to it because it's right on the corner. So, guys, I'll check you later.